Lichtenstein was the quickest turnover. Uh, it was a lot of stuff to do in a very short time. I don't know, two weeks, I don't know. It's a very short time and difficult stuff to learn. And I, I was just head down learning the stuff because it was hard to learn and trying to figure some of it out, which is stupid because you can't. I mean, Wittgenstein would be, I would think, oh, oh, I've got it. And of course I haven't, you know. What does this mean? It's a gesture of contempt. A cyclist did this to me as I was crossing the road. I decided then and there to kill myself. Are you coming to the Palladium with us this evening? What's the logical structure of this gesture? It doesn't have one. That means I spent most of my life groping down a blind alley. Isn't it rather an overreaction to kill yourself because somebody gives you a V sign? The, the philosophy hunts for the essence of meaning. <laughs> There's no such thing. There's no such thing! Just the way we do things in everyday life, things like that. The college porter knows that. So what are you planning to do for the rest of your life? Well, I, I, I shall start by committing suicide. Champagne before you go? Um, do you know, uh, I, I'd love a cup of tea. I, I went away uh, and read one book about him. Right. and looked at some photographs and learnt the, the text that Derek had written or adapted from someone else, I don't know. Terry, yeah, Terry. that's right. Yeah. I just learnt it. Um, if I had the time over to do it again, I think I'd be lighter. I think it was a bit stolid in parts. From me, not Derek, from me. And I wish I'd been a little more theatrical. I, I met a friend of Wittgenstein's and had lunch with him. And he told me that uh, Wittgenstein was a, a very theatrical person. You know, terrible show off. He wasn't the same all the time. I just played him the same all the way through. I didn't know anything about him apart from the book I read. I mean, uh, the only thing I understood of, of, of Wittgenstein was the, 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 when he said about a dog can be waiting for his master to come, but can a dog be waiting for his master to come next Wednesday? It was the only bit I got. I got that. Was all, uh, uh, Wittgensteinian. <laughs> a dog cannot lie. Neither can he be sincere. A dog may be expecting his master to come. Why can't he be expecting him to come next Wednesday? Is it because he doesn't have language? If a lion could speak, <laughs> we would not be able to understand what he said. Why do I say such a thing? If we could understand him, I shouldn't think we'd have too much trouble with a lion. We could get an interpreter. Uh, do you mean for me or for the lion? He is a romantic character, uh, Wittgenstein. When we think of him, we see those photographs of him. You know, the austerity. And his life, an amazing life. Uh, uh, quite a heroic life. Isn't he? uh, uh, experimenting with flight, uh, the turn of the century, going to live uh, 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 next to a fjord in a shed, designing a house for his sister, uh, whistling Schubert, playing the clarinet, uh, among other things, making his own furniture, Amazing. making undrinkable tea, making his students sit in deck chairs. There was a question and answer session after the film Wittgenstein. And uh, someone asked him a question about the costumes, and he was off. 
he's quite happy to talk about shopping for costumes. You know, he'd be as enthusiastic about talking about a, a feather boa as he would the Tractatus. Do you see what I'm saying? And that's what I liked about him. He didn't seek approval of Hollywood, the British film industry, the European film industry. He just didn't care as long as he made his film. He didn't really care about what people thought. He was a terrible show off to. He certainly enjoyed life, but it all became the, the same thing. I, I went, he, he called me up once and said, uh, I want you to come and meet some people and we'll go, we'll have supper. So I went around to his flat and um, there were some bottles of wine. And then we went to a sort of a cafe with Formica tables and ate and then went back and uh, he showed us his uh, Super 8s. And so <laughs> with one hand on a, a Denset record player, he was with his favourite records, lining it up, lining the film up with the spool in one hand and then the, the grooves on the record player, getting an electric shock. And telling you that what you're about to see was the greatest film ever made. <laughs> and he meant it too. You know, like... Here's a good one. <laughs> he was his own biggest fan as well. It's a great thing, you know. A complete unswerving belief in himself. Confidence is a wonderful thing. He got more confidence. Confidence, no fear, you see. Fear is a terrible enemy of, of creativity, of doing anything, is it? Fear and sloth and excuses. He would never make an excuse for getting something wrong. He was wonderful. He didn't sit down. Um, and while he was making the film, there was somebody making a film of him making the film, which he loved. And, and he had a huge tome, which was his journal. He was carrying everywhere while he was making the film. Talked all the way through lunch. And then one morning he said, by the way, Carl, um, I better warn you, I'm going blind. This is terrible, isn't it, that I'm going blind while I'm making a film. He said, mind you, it has been said of me before. So nothing's new. I mean, he was a courageous man. He was a very trusting man. I mean, whether, it's, always, it's always good to be trusted, you know, if you're an actor. It's horrid when you're not trusted. I, 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 I've experienced that when, when the director doesn't believe that you can do it. He just believes that you can do things. And I love it when I work with a director who just says, go. You're right, go, go, go. I mean, there are great directors who can mould you and get you to do things. And there are great encouragers. And people who set up a great atmosphere or a great working situation, that's as important. But I find him a very gracious, welcoming man.